Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests for salads. So being that we're in spring now, we're finally getting into some warmer weather, I wanted to share with you my main course salad recipe. It's super versatile. You can use any greens you want, um, any vegetables you want, add a protein you like, add a carb you like, and it's a really great hearty satiating meal. I'm gonna show you the basics, how I do it that we love to eat in my family. So feel free to change it however you want for you or your family. I like to make the salad dressing first and I'll tell you why. Unless you guys have a mortar and pestle to grind the garlic in, which I do also, but I know a lot of people don't have that. So I'm gonna show you how I do it in case you don't. I love having garlicky flavors in my salad dressing. So I wanna make it first so that all those flavors infuse into the salad and then right before you put it on the salad, you put it through a little strainer. So here's what we're gonna do, super easy. Cut a lemon in half. What's great is that all the products in my culinary line, Prep on Kitchen, are solutions to problems that I had in the kitchen. So now that I have them and they're here, I use them every day, all day. So you guys are gonna see me using a bunch of my, uh, my products right now. So here's a cool little tip that I learned. To keep your bowl in place that you're using, any kind of bowl, whether it's, this is actually my, uh, my mixing bowl that goes with my nesting bowls, but if you're using just a metal bowl, whatever, you know, you take a towel, dampen it with water, and then wrap it under the base of your bowl, and it actually keeps it in place. I mean, mine actually has a, this, kind of ring on the bottom to keep it stable. But even still, because we're gonna be whisking, that's just a cool little trick that I learned. Okay, so we're gonna do half a lemon, half a cup of oil. This is a basic vinaigrette that I like to do. And I'll do different variations on this as well, but this is just the basic one. And now we're gonna whisk in half a cup of oil. You really wanna whisk it as you're pouring the oil in so it emulsifies and blends together. So this is gonna be a little bit of a bicep workout <laughs> and forearm workout. So you really wanna keep whisking it till it blends. You'll see it kind of thicken up and get together here, which is great, that's what you want. And then I forgot my salt and pepper, add salt and pepper. Whenever I'm cooking, whether it's for something raw, something, you know, that's going to go into a skillet or whatever, fresh ground black pepper is just a game changer. So let's put in some salt and pepper. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of mustard. And here's the thing. If you want to just do lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper, right on. That's also a really great plain dressing. I love Dijon mustard and I think it's really yummy in salad dressings. So I'll put a little bit of that in there. We're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, which might seem like a lot, but again, keep in mind, we're gonna strain all this out. Right now we're just infusing flavors. So now we're gonna add a clove of garlic. So there's a lot of different ways to peel your garlic. This is how I learned. My mom taught me this as a young kid. Smash the garlic. And again, I'm using all my products. This is my prep board. This is my Santoku blade. I, uh, <laughs> I love these. I use them every day, all day. So we're just gonna chop this up, little mints. And then what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna put this in the dressing. We're gonna stir it up. Also, the other reason why I love this wider Santoku blade is you just, it's really great for just scooping. Okay, so we're gonna leave that in there and we're gonna let all these flavors blend. <laughs> it looks so yummy. Okay, great, set that to the side. Now we're gonna make our salad. Okay, so for this, I'm feeling a really hearty salad. So I'm actually using romaine lettuce. But again, use any lettuce that you want. Okay, scoop and drop. Again, this is my, my glass bowl from my nesting bowl set. And again, you always wanna keep a clean cutting board. It just makes things so efficient. So I'm making dinner for my husband and I, so I'm gonna do some more lettuce because I like putting a lot of lettuce in. And this is a super versatile salad. I'm gonna show you the vegetables that we like, but feel free to add in whatever you guys like. Okay, that's actually looking really good. I'm just gonna finish this. 
Okay, perfect. So again, I was using my, uh, I, went, I washed my lettuce in my colander that goes with my nesting bowl set. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna get all of our vegetables ready to get into our salad. So these are Persian cucumbers. I love Persian cucumbers. I think they're so yummy. Get some carrots shaved. So because I'm gonna be using my chopper because it makes my life so much easier when I'm doing something like this, I'm gonna prep the vegetables so it's gonna be ready for that, which I'll show you. Again, my prep board just, oh my gosh, it's a game changer with the cleanup situation. Swipe right. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some onions in here too. Again, this is one of my food prep lids. Super versatile. So I do love onion, but in a salad, I'll just do one slice like that. because It actually is perfect for what we like. I'm gonna cover it back up with my food lid and it'll be ready for the next time I use it. Okay, cool. So now, cause we're gonna be using my chopper, which gives us really great um, dice. There's three different blades, but I'm gonna use the small one for the salad. So I'm gonna chop these up the width that I want them to be, so this is perfect. So in our salad, we're gonna do cucumber, carrots, onion, some grape tomatoes. I have some olives. Again, like you guys can tailor make this for whatever's in your fridge. And the dressing, oh, it's so yummy. So this is my little grip pad that goes underneath my chopper. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my smallest blade, pop it in, and now let's get to chopping. So I like the smaller blade for salads. If I was putting potatoes in, I'd probably use you know the bigger blade and when I'm doing hash browns and fruit salads and things like that, I'll use the bigger blade. It just makes life so much easier using this. There goes the onion. Now let's do the carrot. The other thing too is I love having this because um, it just gets that really great uh, precision dice. So you don't have to worry about it. it makes your life easy <laughs> and it looks super pro. Even though I'm an avid chef, I want my stuff to look pro. Okay, great. Awesome, see that? Beautiful. So this is just gonna dump onto my salad. Just like that. So now we're gonna slice up our tomatoes clean cutting board. So for the tomatoes, I actually like grape tomatoes. I think, the, I think they're really nice and sweet. And I also like cutting a little dice like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, my blade is awesome. It just slices right through. And then once I cut these, I'll just put them in a separate bowl because I don't want my tomatoes to make my salad start wilting until we're about to eat. So I'm gonna put my little tomatoes on the side. But this is looking perfect. Okay, that looks like a good amount of tomatoes, so I'm gonna just scoop them up on my blade. Look at that. They all made it on the blade. Now that we have our veggies all prepped, I wanna get our cheese cut. So the other thing that I love about this knife is that it has this granton edge, which helps things not stick to it, which is great. So the cheese just cuts, it just cuts right through. The attention to detail is one thing I really felt was important to have this on there. And if you're cutting meat and stuff, the juices go into these grooves and like lubricate it, it's great. So this knife is like amazing for just everyday all purpose stuff. It's it's my go-to. And it just so happens that it's my color line. <laughs> so that's a bonus. Okay, so now let's put this to the side. Okay, so now we're just gonna chop up some olives. I do the olives last because there's a little bit of juice on there. Not that it matters because my prep board actually has a juice groove, so it's not like anything would slip off, but still, I don't want everything flavored with olives. I'm gonna top it. I'm just gonna put these in a little bowl. Okay, great. Let's move to the stove. We are going to cook the chicken in my blue carbon steel pan, which is amazing for cooking protein. It's so great. Okay, let's see. Okay, you want it to have a nice flat grip to the pan to get that really beautiful brown sear. I just put salt, a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper on here. 
put it straight into the pan with a little bit of organic canola oil. And we're just gonna let this do its thing. Blue carbon steel is awesome for cooking protein because you get this really great restaurant quality sear. And then we just leave this alone. You don't really wanna mess with it too much. So as soon as it starts to get white around the edges like a pancake, I'm gonna flip it. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. I covered it with my lid, my tempered glass lid, which I love because I can see that the outside's turning white. There's a little steam vent there, which is awesome. So the other thing that I love, oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna flip these and show you guys. You guys, look at that gorgeous brown. Isn't that beautiful? That pan sear. The other thing I love about carbon steel is that similar to traditional cast iron, it gets naturally nonstick. So the more you use it, it gets naturally nonstick. It doesn't have any of the chemicals in um, nonstick cookware that we all hear about that we're all kind of scared of with our families and feeding our families. So carbon steel becomes naturally nonstick like traditional cast iron, as well as you get this beautiful patina the more you use it. So each pan is totally unique. It's just got these really fun little features that are just awesome. And look at that sear, it's beautiful. So it's about three minutes. I'm gonna let it cook for another three minutes and then that's done. Okay, so I just cleaned out my pan with a little bit of water because you don't want to put soap on your carbon steel pan. So now we're just gonna cook this up. Pine nuts, a little bit of oil, get a nice brown on them. Again, my silicone tools, I use them for everything. I love these. So because my carbon steel pan, it's actually called technically blue carbon steel because I put it through this natural high heat process called bluing, which starts the nonstick evolution, as you say. So technically it's blue carbon steel. It heats up quick, so these are gonna get golden quickly. Look, they're already getting golden brown. Oh, so pretty. Uh, you can already hear those sizzling and they're already, wow, that heats up super quick. They're already done. Okay, they're already done, beautiful. Let me just pour these onto a plate so they don't ever cook. These are beautiful, wow. Look at that golden brown, isn't that pretty? Oh, so yummy, I wish you guys could smell the nuttiness. Okay, great, so now, now that I just cooked pine nuts in here, I'm just gonna take a wet dish towel and wipe it down. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is gonna add a little bit of oil while it's hot because the pores are open and I want to keep my seasoning. So I'm just gonna wipe that in. Super easy. After you cook, put a little bit, a little sheen of oil and just let it sit. Now it's gonna cool. That's done. Yay! Dinner time. Okay guys, now it's time to do some cleanup. Oh, hmm. Just this you say? All right. <laughs> I'm serious, it makes a really big difference. So now, that's your cleanup. This goes back in, just like that. And then this goes into your waste bin or if you compost, this works with compost. And then we can feel good about how we get rid of our food scraps. Look at that, clean. Okay, cool, now, Let's do this. So remember our beautiful salad dressing that's infusing with garlic. Let's get that strained. So yummy. Let's let that go through there. Yum. Oh, this is one of my favorite dressings. It's so delicious, you guys. So what I'll do is this amount that I showed you with the half a lemon and half a cup of oil and the stuff we added to it, it's really nice. It'll probably last you for a couple days. Well, first of all, it stays good in the fridge for like a week. But when I say it for a couple days is now I'm gonna use it for dinner and there'll probably be enough for a salad tomorrow, which is great. And maybe even the day after. So this is my salad dressing. I'm gonna put the dressing on right before my husband and I eat. So for now, I'm just gonna put it to the side. So 
little food prep lid. So now this is ready to go. So I'm just going to put this to the side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate our salads again, using my silicone tools, which are so versatile. I use them for so many things. Give the salad a nice stir. I'm also going to add my feta cheese. The olives tend to turn things a little purple, so I'm going to do that right at the end. I don't want them to turn things purple yet. I might even just sprinkle them on top. So this is perfect. So this is ready to go into the bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the bowls up with our beautiful salad. Oh, so yummy. So I'm going to top it with our tomatoes. I'm going to top it with our beautiful golden brown pine nuts. Ah, oh, so good. So now what we're going to do is remember our beautiful golden brown chicken breast. You guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, perfect. So perfect. You guys, this is cooked perfectly. It's golden brown. It's beautiful. Oh boy. You guys know I'm obsessed with brown rice. I always have brown rice prepped in my fridge. So what I'll do is take, again with my spoon, it's great, you can get a lot of volume. So I'm gonna get a really nice scoop of my rice, add it to my salad. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of my French sea salt. Give it a little sprinkle. And then right before we eat, I'm gonna drizzle it with some of my dressing. Look at this gorgeous salad. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, I'm literally salivating. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna go eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new video, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go eat dinner now.